and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. What's on everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video again. Today we got a pretty cool content day. Not gonna lie, one of the better content days we've had in a while. Mine is promos, obviously, because promos are typically gonna win in terms of content. But we got something pretty cool, and they dropped a lot more stuff than I expected. So first off, Eli Manning did retire, as you guys know, in real life. Now, they did make him a career tribute card, which is super cool, because I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an Eli fan. Well, I'm a Giants fan, so I was forced to be an Eli fan. Nothing wrong with Eli. But as I was of age to really watch the Giants, it was like right after the Super Bowl win, so wasn't exactly the most fun stuff to watch afterwards. But besides the point, he is getting a career tribute card today in-game. You guys probably already saw the stats. I'm probably going to go over him some point during this video, as well as we got new legends. We got two regular legends and an LTD legend, as you guys know, the two legends. They've been doing playoff legends, which are modern day players, which is super cool. They're dropping some really cool ones today, as well as an LTD, which you guys will see throughout this video. And I also have my Mutt Reward pack. So before we get into the video, guys, make sure to go below, hit that subscribe button, turn the noti bell. Come join the family, boys. We hit 18K. Thank you guys so much for that. Greatly appreciate that. Comment down below what you think of the legends, the LTD Eli, and the LTD legend. And Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. For a 10.30 video, can we get 350 likes, guys? That'd be greatly appreciated. Let's make it happen. You guys have been going crazy. We had one of our best days again on YouTube yesterday, so let's keep it up. I was opening up the Super Bowl packs on video right now. I have my Mount Rewards, so I figured I'd get into this before I show you guys all the content. So getting an Elite right there, we get Julian Edelman, 82. Uh, I'm assuming that's a Super Bowl. 82, Russell Olkung. That's the first time I've seen the animation for it. I've seen a lot of good pulls out of these. I've seen people get, like, the 95s out of these, so that'd be super cool if I did. I would definitely go ahead and go get, you do the set, Eli Manning 86. Maybe that's a little hint that I'm going to be getting my, you know what? I'm going to save the other two for a 1030, actually. Well, that is now, so now let's just open them all. I don't know if Eli's live yet, but I got to try it out anyways, because if I pulled Eli out of this, this would be unreal. I've never pulled an LTD before, and I probably never will. 82 Russell Old Kung, and another 64. My luck's haven't really been good in packs, but let's expect to guess. Okay, I believe these are all low animations. Another Eli Manning. That's cool. I thought that was a legend right there. All right, so that's it for the Mutt Rewards packs. Those were super awesome. They were, those were just so great. Now, guys, one second. Let's head on over and check out the new legends. Let's check out Eli. Let's check out everything that has to do with today's content. Right, so Von Miller is on the block. Now, will it let me check his stats? It will. It's probably going to kick me out a few times, though, but he's 6'3", 87 speed, 88 excel. 83 strength, 90 tackle, 96 play rec, 91 block shedding. Oh, God, this is going to be annoying. And 94 power move and 88 finesse move. So, cards looking really, really great, to be quite honest with you guys. That was bought out super quick. I don't know who needed that card that fast. But, as you guys see, really, really fast, super super athletic. Going to be great off the edge. Going to be great in the run game. Now, the play rec is also going to probably get close to 99 powered up. I'm probably going to end up powering up because I still have Von Miller on my team. So, I mean, I don't know. I do want to have a zone guy on that side. I'm scared to refresh because I feel like I'm going to lose him forever. Yeah, he's gone now. So that Von Miller was looking pretty solid. Now here's the thing with Von Miller though. He is a straight pass rusher. You guys have to understand that in that scheme, I will explain that afterwards actually because Aaron Rodgers is up and I don't want to miss this opportunity. Aaron Rodgers, 95 overall, 6'2", 81 speed, 95 throw power, 96 throw short, 88 throw mid, 92 throw deep, 88 throw under pressure, 94 throw on the run, and 90 play action. Let's compare it to Michael Vick real quick. So, a lot slower, obviously. Worse throw power. Better short accuracy. Slightly better medium accuracy. Slightly better deep accuracy. 88, less throw under pressure. 94 throw on the run is less. And 90 play action. Now, powered up this card will get Escape Artist and Dashing Deadeye. So, that's the benefit over Vic is that he will get Dashing Deadeye. But, other than Dashing Deadeye, he kind of looks like Mahomes. He's like a very similar Mahomes card for the most part. Maybe slightly better than Mahomes, but that's about it. I mean, I probably want to try him out anyways because he is Aaron Rodgers and he's always been fun to, uh, really fun to use, quite honestly, in Madden. But let's see what his underlying stats are here. Anything that's kind of good that stands out. I'm not entirely sure if there's going to be much of anything because he's not a running quarterback. So typically, there's not much other stats to check. I do kind of want to see his break sack, though. Only an 89 break sack. Card's, card's pretty good. Um, I don't think he's going to be the best quarterback in the game, obviously, by any stretch. I'd probably rather still have Russell Wilson, who is a very similar card but faster and higher overall. And we'll help your team out a little bit more. So let's see if we can refresh and have both of them here now. That'd be pretty cool. No. All right. That's what I kind of expected. Von Miller. I guess Von Miller is the more touted one, which is kind of weird. I honestly thought Aaron Rodgers would be more popular. Maybe, I mean, Von Miller for his position is probably going to be more useful than Aaron Rodgers' quarterback considering the quarterbacks are having the game right now. Let's just see if Eli's up. 
and then come right back. And I don't know what Eli falls under. I don't know what a career tribute card actually ends up falling under. The McAllister is up too. The LTD Christian, uh, Chris McAllister is up. That's pretty awesome. I did not think this card would be up as early as it is. Typically, LTDs take quite a while to go up. So Chris McAllister is up. Remember, he was a themed diamond. So if you wish to power him up, you have to get his themed diamond card. 91 speed, 93 excel, 90 agility, 93 jumping, 94 play rec, 95 man coverage, 90 zone, and 96 press. Card looks okay. The speed's definitely too low for my liking. You compare him to like a night train lane. He's slower than night train lane, similar excel, worse agility, worse jumping, similar play rec, worse man, better zone on night train lane, and then the worst press. Like the card doesn't seem that much better than a card that came out months ago. Not really a fan of this Chris McAllister card. A little too slow. If he had like a 93 speed, a lot better. He's a theme diamond though. On a Ravens theme team, gonna be one of the best cards. One of the best cornerbacks in the game, probably. Not a Ravens theme team, of course, but because the Ravens theme team is uh, it's already pretty juiced to begin with. So, not a surprise that uh, another Ravens card has come out because that seems to be the kind of the trend here. Now let's get out of the legend filter to see where do we find the tribute. Is there is it their own filter? Like I don't even know. Is it even out yet? I mean, we have to also we have to also acknowledge that that typically that stuff isn't even out yet. Let's see. Is there a tribute section here? I don't think there is. So I'm just gonna look him up by Eli or by quarterback. I don't think it'll be up yet. This card's typically a little bit hard to pull, although people... Oh, my God. Steve Young is super cheap. I did not know how cheap he was going to get. All right, Eli. Yeah, Eli's not going to be out for a while, probably, I'd imagine. Now, let's get back to Von Miller, like I was saying. So, the important thing about Von Miller here, right? You have to understand that Von Miller is more... Of, he's a 4-3 linebacker, typically, right? He's going to be a linebacker that rushes off the edge. You don't want him in zone. Now, here's the thing, right? A lot of people don't realize this. People like me, like me, because I'm just dumb and haven't found a better upgrade... You have to understand that Von Miller is a pass rusher, not a zone guy. So people like to have Von Miller and Lawrence Taylor in the teams. That doesn't make sense because you have Lawrence Taylor rushing and you have Von Miller in a zone. Now, if you run the right scheme, you can have both of them rushing. But that's fine. But don't be like, I see a lot of people do this with, in three fours where they have Lawrence Taylor in the line and Von Miller in a zone. You really don't want to be doing that. Von Miller is not a zone guy. He never will be. And is he a, am, I, am I being dumb right now? Why is he not showing up? Oh, good, he's not on the block. Okay, anyways, he's not hes not a zone guy. So you have to understand that in that case, by having him in a zone, you're going to be hurting yourself a lot. So if you have Lawrence Taylor ready and you rush only one of them, don't get him. Or if you want to get rid of Lawrence Taylor, you could, which I don't advise I don't advise doing. But it really comes down to what you want at the end of the day. Now, I'll be right back. I'm going to come back when I see the Eli Manning card up on the block. Okay, so Eli is up. That was actually quicker than I thought. 1.75 million. He was just pulled right now. Let's check out his stats. 72 speed, 95 throw power, 95 throw short. Great stats so far. 94 throw mid, 93 throw deep. Great throwing stats with good throw power, which is surprising, guys. Every pocket passer this year, like the Joe Montana's, the NFL 100s, those guys, they were never given all these stats good. They were only given like a few of them, and then the throw power sucked. Great throw under pressure. Honestly, overall, a pretty great card. Throwing the run sucks, but you're not going to be running with Eli. If you're running with Eli, you probably shouldn't be playing Madden. Now you compare him to Michael Vick, which is a bad comparison, but he beats him everywhere, minus speed and throw on the run and throw power. Which, powered up Eli Manning is honestly a really solid card, guys. As far as it goes for the theme teams this year, for Giants theme, going to look pretty solid. You're going to have Saquon and Eli and Odell. You're going to have some pretty solid guys. Typically, the uh, Giants theme team never has a good quarterback. We got Jones and Manning this year. Manning never really gets the best card. This is a really, really good card. I'm a fan of this card. Honestly, I like it. I think it's a great card. I would pick it up if it wasn't LTD. Maybe when he's a redux, I'll start building that Giants theme team for the end of the year. Sounds like a good idea. I'll probably end up building a giant Steam team, get some content on this channel. Some gameplay content that you guys have been dying to see. Since you guys want to see me play gameplay for some reason really bad. I honestly, I understand I got to get to it more, but guys, that is pretty much it. We got Chris McAllister, we got Aaron Rodgers, we got Bob Miller, and we got Eli Manning. Great content day. Super excited for all this content. Got to see what I'm going to pick up here. Probably going to pick up Von Miller, maybe, depending on if I change my scheme or not. Otherwise, I gotta wait for a zone linebacker still, which, I which they still haven't dropped a good one. But that's about it, guys. That's about it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy today's 1030 content video. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to get this video to 300 likes. Spam the like button, boys. I always like when you guys blow up a 1030 video. Comment down below if you have any questions. Let me know if you like these legends. I personally liked Von and Aaron Rodgers. They were good. Eli's great, obviously, because he's Eli Manning. He's the GOAT. And, um... McAllister was decent. Let me know what you guys think of all these. Let me know what you got out of your Mutt Rewards pack. And make sure to subscribe to the channel. We did hit 18K. We're almost at 18.1, guys. You guys are going crazy. Keep it up. Let's keep growing. Next week, milestones 20K. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.